guys, let's do another Coulomb's Law problem. Two pith balls, each with a mass of 4.50 grams, are attached to non-conducting threads and suspended from the same point on the ceiling. Each thread has a length of 0.90 meters. The balls are then given an identical charge, which causes them to separate. At the point where the electric and gravitational forces balance, the threads are separated by an angle of 30 degrees. Calculate the charge on each pith ball. Okay, so first thing you want to do with a problem like this, and with any problem in physics really, is draw a picture. Okay, so this is going to be my ceiling. And I have, originally the two pith balls are hanging vertically. Um, now it's hard to imagine them hanging exactly parallel if they're suspended from the same point. So I'm just going to jump ahead to the picture where they're separated by 30 degrees, right? Because they're given the same charge, so of course they're going to repel. So here... I've got my two non-conducting threads. The reason it tells you they're non-conducting is so that whatever charge is on the pith ball does not uh, discharge quickly into the threads and away from the ball. Okay, so there are my two pith balls. Um, let's look at one at a time because whatever forces we have acting on this, uh, the what pith ball on the right, it's going to be the same forces, just a mirror image of it for the pith ball on the left. So. Let's see, we have a tension force, of course, because there is a string attached to this pith ball. So FT, uh, there is a weight to the pith ball and the weight is always downwards towards the center of the earth. So FG is going down and we've got an electric force. Now the electric force in this case is repulsive because they're both given the same charge. So on the pith ball on the right, the electric force is gonna go towards the right because it's pushing, being pushed away from this one here. So Fe. So this is my free body diagram. We're also told that once they separate and at the point where the gravitational electric forces balance, uh, the angle between the two is 30 degrees. Now this whole angle there is 30 degrees. Therefore, if I cut this in half, half of 30 is 15. Okay, so then therefore this angle in here is gonna be 15 degrees. So make sure you keep track of that because your answer will come out very close if you plug in 30 instead. But okay, let's just try to figure out how we're gonna do this. Because the forces are balanced, that means the net force in the Y and the X direction are zero. Okay, so why don't we establish our coordinate system now? Okay, let's let positive X be to the right and we'll let positive Y be up. So there are my directions. This is the thought process you have to go to uh, figure out this problem. We're asked to calculate the charge on each pith ball. Charge you get from the electric force, right? KQ1, Q2 over R squared. Okay, but to find the electric force, we have to find the X component of the tension. Imagine taking this tension force and breaking it up into its vertical and horizontal components. The electric force is gonna come from the balance of the horizontal tension, the FTX. But then how do we find FTX? Well, to find FTX, we need FTY, which we're gonna find using force of gravity. So that's our three-step process. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first step, um, FTY is equal to FG. And we can see that because FTY, if you were to keep dragging this up, this component here is going to be FTY, and up here we've got FTX. And because the net forces are zero, these two must cancel each other out. FTY is going up. Okay, now FTY, let's, let me redraw this triangle here. Okay, so FTY is right here. Force of tension is here. And we know that the angle up here is 15 degrees. Now, if you do that simple Z pattern, you can see that this angle here and this angle here are the same. So that angle right there is also gonna be 15 degrees. Okay, so at this point, because the angle is 15 degrees, we can find out what FTY is equal to. FTY, because it's adjacent to the angle, it's going to be equal to FT cosine of 15 degrees. Okay, so FTY is FT cosine 15 degrees. FG is simply MG because we're dealing with uh, objects on Earth. Now we're going to try to isolate for FT here because remember we're trying to figure out FTX so that we set that equal to FE. So let's solve for FT. That means you divide both left and right side by cosine of 15 degrees. I'm just going to go ahead and start plugging in my values. My mass is 4.50 grams, but I have to plug that in in kilograms. So it's going to be 4.50 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. A times gravity, 9.80 newtons per kilogram, divided by cosine of 15 degrees. 
Okay, so punch those into your calculator and you're gonna get a tension force of 0 0.04566 newtons, approximately. Okay, so this was our first step, setting Fty equal to Fg. We found our force of tension. Now we are gonna use force of tension and say that, okay, well, I know that my force of tension in the x direction is going to be equal to, well, my electric force, right? So Ftx is equal to Fe, that's my next stage. Okay, so Ftx is going to be this side of the triangle up here. That's simply going to be Ft times the sine of 15 degrees. So Ft sine of 15 degrees, and that's going to be equal to Fe. So let's calculate what Fe is first. Um, so Ft 0 0.04566 newtons times sine of 15 degrees equals Fe. So Fe is equal to, so if we punch that in our calculator, you're going to get 0 0.01182 newtons. Okay, now we know that's equal to the electric force, and the electric force, according to Coulomb's laws given by the formula Fe is equal to KQ1Q2 over R squared. Okay, so in this question, my two Qs are the same. The two charges are identical. So I can actually rewrite this as KQ squared over R squared. So what I actually need to find is, well, R, what is R? Okay, according to the Coulomb's law expression, R is the distance between the two charges. Okay, so in this case, R is going to be this distance right here. Okay, so R is the distance between these two charges. And you can figure that out by first figuring out what half of R is, right? Because you've got a right angle triangle. So if we actually sketch that out over here, you've got your right angle. This is half of the distance between the two charges. And you know that the length of the string is 0.90 meters. You know that this angle here is 15 degrees, right? So you can find it. So according to this, R, well, half of R, wait, look, half of R is going to be equal to 0 0.90 meters times the sine of 15 degrees. Okay, so when you punch that in your calculator, you're going to get that half of R is equal to 0.233 meters, and therefore R is equal to 0.466 meters. Okay, and that's the R we're going to plug into our Coulomb's Law expression right there. Okay, so just to recap, we found the electric force. Um, and now based on that, we're gonna to try to solve for Q. Okay so, okay, so I know I'm working based off this electric force formula. Fe is KQ squared over R squared. And I know that Fe is equal to 0 0.01182 Newtons. So I want to rearrange this expression for Q squared. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by R squared, divide both sides by K. Okay, so I'm gonna get 0 0.01182 Newtons times r squared, so 0.466 meters squared, divided by k, which is 8.99 times 10 to the 9 newton meters squared per coulomb squared. That's going to be equal to q squared. So crunch that in your calculator, and you're going to get uh, q squared is 2.855, this is approximate by the way, times 10 to the minus 13 coulomb squared. Take the square root of both sides and you're gonna get the charge to be 5.34 times 10 to the minus seven coulombs. And that is the charge on each pith ball because they're given an identical charge. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to smash that like button if you did and stay tuned tomorrow at 12 noon for my latest video, 155, Electric Fields One. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash that like button so I know what I'm doing makes sense to you guys. And you know how you can stay tuned for my latest videos? By subscribing to Physics in the Flesh. I post every weekday at 12 noon, and this way you guys can always be the first to know when I post a new video. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you missed any of my earlier videos, be sure to click over there on the right. You can click and watch those videos on your screen right now. Anyways, guys, Physics in the Flesh out. Whoop, whoop. Holy crap, my nose looks big on camera. I gotta find a new angle.